starting to clean. Roborock S7 is the latest company's robot vacuum cleaner with an upgraded sonic vibration mopping technology. It can also automatically detect an amalfi carpet on the app, it raises the mopping model when needed and overall cleaning results should be much better compared to the previous generations. But is it really that good as it sounds? Well, let's find out in this video review. Hey, what is up guys, Nellis here from Nuxtech and in this video I will show you the cleaning and mopping test results between Roborock S7 and Roborock S5. Also I will go through the latest features, share my personal insights after one month of use and finally I will give some recommendations regarding which robot vacuum cleaner you should buy. So smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done it yet and without further ado let's get into it. So want to start straight with the mopping test as it's of course the most interesting and most exciting upgrade Roborock has introduced to their new S7. Now as you might know all the previous Roborock models have a regular mopping feature which is sufficient for basic surface level cleaning but it will struggle with more complicated dry stains. So this is exactly why Roborock has improved mopping feature with sonic vibration technology and also added a lifting motor to avoid mopping the carpet. As you can see from my test results, there is quite a significant difference between Roborock S5 and Roborock S7. While none of those models managed to fully remove all the stains in the first round, you can actually see way better results with S7. In the second cycle, the difference was even more visible and within a third round, Roborock S7 has successfully finished the job in almost a perfect way. Unfortunately, the older generation Roborock S5 was desperately moving around and still left a dirty floor behind it. It's also worth mentioning that on Roborock S7 you can not only choose from different water flow settings, but also select either you want a regular or deep mopping. In case you select the deep mopping mode, the vacuum cleaner will make more narrow zigzag patterns and cover the same spot for two times. That of course will consume more battery, however it will give you better mopping results. Now let's talk a little bit about this mop module raising feature which might be useful but not in all cases. Let me explain why. From the app settings menu you can actually choose what should the robot do if it encounters a carpet. The first option will raise the mopping module and vacuum the carpet without making it wet. This is the most recommended setting for low pile carpets and mats. However, if you have medium or high pile carpets, I would personally suggest choosing a void option because even if the robot traces the mopping model, it will be still touching the carpet surface and might leave some water marks on it. Finally, if you have rubber mats which can be mopped, you can also select ignore mode and that would allow mopping on wall cleaning area without raising the model. When it comes to the general dry vacuuming, Roborock S7 also seems to do a better job in comparison to its older brother. From a cleaning test I did, the newest Roborock was able to collect a total of 33 grams of dirt, meanwhile the S5 only managed to suck 25 given the same conditions. Furthermore, when I flipped over both Roombas, I was shocked to see how many carpet piles got stuck inside the main rolling brush of Roborock S5. That's really not what would I expect after all, but yeah. At the same time, a totally different story for Roborock S7. As you can see, there were just a few carpet piles tangled on the sides and that's thanks to the all new rubber brush with an upgraded floating technology. Despite that, I found some hard particles like rice and buckwheat stuck behind the brush so that's not ideal of course, but it's only negative point I have to say regarding S7. Finally, it's worth mentioning that Roborock S7 has all the latest features easily accessible within the app. You can manually divide the map into specific cleaning areas, you can also set preferred cleaning modes for each room separately, you can set no-go and no-mob zones, add the virtual wall, save several maps and so on. 
The 7 is really a great all-in-one vacuum cleaner with nicely improved sonic vibration mopping feature and better overall performance. To make it even better, I would love to see some upgrades such as water level indication and AI cameras for obstacle avoidance which were used on the previous Roborock S6 Max V. I'm also really looking forward to testing the auto-emptying station which Roborock should release later this year as it should be compatible with Roborock S7 lineup. If you currently own a Roborock S5 and you want to have some better mopping and cleaning results, less struggles with tangle here around the brush, I would say that upgrading to Roborock S7 is really worth it. However, if you want something more budget friendly, I could easily recommend Roborock S5 Max, which can be found somewhere around 300 euros or 350 US dollars. Check out for the latest discount codes and links in the description area below this video. And that is it. Let me know what you guys think about this Roborock S7 in the comments. And if you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more high quality tech reviews. Thanks for watching. This is Nellis from Nuxtech, and I will see you next time.